In this video, I'm going to be going over uh, a couple examples uh, in which I'm giving a, in which I'm giving a, a linear homogeneous. Uh, you don't know these words yet. Maybe you do. Uh, differential equation with constant coefficients and just going about setting up and solving what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation or auxiliary equation for that differential equation. Um, so again if you if you get what's going on in this video after I'm done uh, it'll make it a lot easier to work on uh, you know, further solving and finding the general solution to these kinds of equations in later videos. So my instructions for both, I'm only doing two examples, but for both examples in this video are the following. Find the values of m so that the function y equals e to the mx is a solution of the given differential equation, right, dE. So the differential equation I have here is y prime plus 2y equals 0, right, where y is again soon to be some function of x. Now this is a first order linear equation, right, and I'll, cl I'll classify it. Right. So we have here a first order linear equation, but something also special about it it has constant coefficients. Right. So yeah, the, the you know the coefficient of y prime is one. Right. The coefficient of y is two. Then you have zero on the other side. Um, and another word for this, because of the zero on the other side too, it's also called a homogeneous or homogeneous differential equation, but we're not going to get into that right now. Right. Now when you have these nth order linear differential equations with constant coefficients, uh, a first step in solving such an equation would be to f answer this. <laughs> You're going to be substituting y equals e to the mx and finding values of m that will satisfy it. All right. All right. So again, I'm going to take this here, y equals e to the mx. It's a first order, so I need to know up to y prime. Right? y prime would be e to the mx times m, using the chain rule. And then make the substitution. All right. So I sub these in. All right. So we sub these into the equation y prime is m times e to the mx plus 2y, right, y is e to the mx, and this is equal to 0. And you may notice that e to the mx is co common to these two terms. I'll factor this out. So I factor out e to the mx, and then what you're left with is the quantity m plus 2 equals uh, 0. And uh, e to the mx, right, uh, remember an exponential function where my, you know, independent variable represents a real number, uh, this will never be 0. E, for, you know, this is, e to the mx will never, for, for any x, for any real x, right. Um, So I can ignore it, or you could divide both sides by it, and we end up with m plus 2 equals 0. All right. And after getting rid of the e to the mx, you, know, you got this polynomial equation in m. Uh, this would be called the auxiliary equation, or the characteristic equation auxiliary equation 
or the characteristic equation uh, corresponding to this differential equation. All right, that corresponds to this, you know, nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. It's very specific, and also with zero on one side, uh, homogeneous or homogeneous. But again, don't worry about that right now. And you know, this polynomial equation in M very easy to solve. You know, when is M plus two equal to zero? When M is negative two. All right, and that's it. All right, there we go. I've I've done what's what's asked of me. The value of m that makes this function a solution of this differential equation is negative two. Now we can check this. You know, replace m with negative two here and look at y equals e, y equals e to the negative two x. Right, replacing m with negative two. And then y prime, right, would be negative 2 times e to the negative 2x. And then we put these into the equation and see if it actually works. Right. So we have negative 2 e to the negative 2x, right, there's y prime, plus 2y, two, 2 times e to the negative 2x. You know, is this equal to 0? Well, yes, you get 0 equals 0. Check on that. So this is indeed a solution of our differential equation. All right, so the value of m is negative 2 here. The solution of our auxiliary equation or characteristic equation. Right. Okay, so, yeah, pretty simple. Again, when you have an nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficients, uh, you'll be you know, starting off like this, with this replacing y with e to the mx and finding values of m that make the make the equation a true statement. All right, so let's do this again. I right, got one more one more example. So notice again you have some sort some sort of order linear differential equation. This is a second order a second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Right. right now the coefficients depend on x, right? you got just 1, negative 5, positive 6, 0 on the other side, constant coefficients. And, and again, in this case, you're going to see, especially in later videos, I'll do more, many more examples where we try to find the general solution to an equation like this. Uh, a good start. How you'll be starting is like this. I'm going to substitute, you know, y equals m e to the mx into this equation and trying to figure out what values of m make it true. Right. Well, it's a second order, so I need up to the second derivative. So y prime again would be m times e to the mx. Uh, the second derivative would be m squared times e to the mx. Remember, m is just a number here, a constant. And then I make the substitutions. So we have m squared times e to the mx minus 5 times you know, y prime, which is m times e to the mx plus 6 times y, which is e to the mx equals 0. And just as in the previous example, you, know, you could factor out e to the mx, and you know you'll have e to the mx times m squared minus five m plus six, you know equals zero. E to the mx uh, is never going to be equal to zero, right? So you don't. So you can kind of divide divide it out, or you know they'll they'll get rid of it, and and you're left with this equation here: m squared minus five m plus six equals zero. And again, this is called, this would be called the auxiliary equation or characteristic equation of this differential equation, right, or corresponding to this differential equation. And it's a nice polynomial equation in M. Now you could use the quadratic formula, completing the square. Uh, this one's pretty easily factorable, right? This is M minus three times M minus two 
uh, equal zero so that you know, when you have a, fa a product equal to zero you can use that zero product property so the solutions here are m equals three or m equals two All right, so there's there's what's being asked for right find the values of m that make this work three and two All right, and then again you can check start over here we, we can check our answers uh, I'll check when m equals 3. All right, so we're, we're looking at y equals you know e to the 3x. So then y prime would be 3 times e to the 3x. y double prime would be 9 times e to the 3x. And if I put those into my equation here, we have 9 e to the 3x minus you know 15, right? Because you have 5 times 3. So minus 15 e to the 3x, and then plus you know, 6 times e to the 3x. Is that equal to 0? Yes, it is. Right? All this stuff is going away. That would be negative 6, and then plus 6 would be 0. So y equals e to the 3x would be a solution. And then you would do the same thing for m equals 2. All right, replace them. Check out y equals e to the 2x y prime would be 2 e to the 2x, y double prime would be 4 e to the 2x, substitute them and it should also satisfy the equation. All right, so m equals 2 also. Right, and don't forget, don't forget to check your solutions, of course. But that's it. All right, so again, if you're given some sort of nth order linear differential equation with zero on one side. Right? Again, the word for that is homogeneous. Uh, and all the coefficients are constants. Right? They don't depend on the independent variable. They're just numbers. Uh, then you know, you'll make the substitution, y equals e to the mx, and then you'll know, find your auxiliary equation, characteristic equation, and solve for m. And that'll give you some uh, particular solutions to that differential equation. Uh, and then we'll see later, of course, from here we can go and state the general solution to such an equation, but that's not going to happen right here, all right? not in this video. All right. So hopefully this helps when you're working on problems you know, similar to this, uh, and thank you very much for watching.